A crew from Animal Control carried two alligators out of this house on South Clement Avenue. It's always been a very nice neighborhood here. I hate to see something like this happen. Matic workers were called back this morning to remove the two gators and a monitor lizard. They already removed six poisonous snakes, an iguana and a tarantula here yesterday. One of the snakes bit someone inside. The information we had was that a water moccasin or what's sometimes known as a cotton mouth had bitten the subject. Nobody called 911 until the victim was already at the hospital. One or more uh, bites from one of these if they actually inject the venom, um, you know, they bite you in the arm, they bite you in the hand, you could lose that arm or hand. It is very frustrating. Wally Ditkewicz says he remembers this happening before at the same home. He lives down the block. It's dangerous. It scares you, you know. Maddox says the man bitten yesterday is Jeremy Loveland. In 2011, he was bitten at this house by a viper. We saw this person, who appeared to be Loveland, arrive and talk with police this morning before the animals were removed. In St. Francis, Pete Zervakis, today's TMJ4. What a story, Pete. Since the 2011 incident, St. Francis has enacted an ordinance limiting exotic pets like poisonous snakes. Police say if any of the animals found are deemed to be in violation of that ordinance, the owner could face multiple municipal fines.